Today, we'll see the Spanish Grand Prix, and unfortunately, there is nowhere to hide today. In the last race, we put in a decent defensive effort to manage to get some more points. That's now points scored in four of the first five races on this season. Uh, but today, as I said, nowhere to hide. That straight is damn long, and there's nowhere that the AI is excessively slow. So we could be in trouble this one. We need to find, dig deep, and find some good pace. Keep your fingers crossed. Let's get into it. We've got that, yeah, we discovered in the last stream, we've got that durability upgrade coming. The only one of all of these that I didn't want them to buy in terms of the spec two columns was the durability one. And what did you buy? Build time durability. So annoying. For now, let's review the standings. So as you can see, we have indeed scored points in four out of the last five races. Bit of a shame we weren't able to score points in Imola, to be honest. But we're not going to be able to compete with Mr. Verstappen, who's uh, had three wins now, a P2 and a P4. We're going to need a lot more than that for that, but the car just isn't there at the moment. As I said, it's the Spanish Grand Prix today. We've got the Monaco Grand Prix next time out. But we're now 10th in the standings, 23 points uh, to Verstappen's 116 points. So almost 100 points back already, which is not especially ideal. But we'll hopefully have a major weight reduction upgrade on for Monaco, which is going to make quite a big difference around that particular circuit. We've also got a major front downforce upgrade uh, going on the car at some point. So, when's that going to be? 31st of May. Okay, so the, the major front downforce is going to go on for Baku. Monaco is not the track to get the ERS upgrade, but it is an upgrade that I desperately want. So we are going to do ERS. And I guess, I'm, I mean, I may as well just buy this, I suppose, for Baku. Uh, 1,100 points. That needs to be 800 points left. I could buy this. We don't need to save points. We should have about 3,000 resource points or so uh, by the time after the next race. So I don't think we need to save. So I am going to put that weight redistribution upgrade on. To go in time in, on in time for Monaco. And that's it. Managed to get most of the upgrades on. We're developing the car really as quickly as we can. But as you can see, we only just barely overtook Aston Martin. Anyway, enough wobble. W wobble. Enough wobble. That's only one. Enough wobble. Let's skip some time. Tire allocation. All looks fine to me. All looks totally fine to me. Let's do it. Oh, some rain for the race. Hello. Oh, only at the very, very end as well. That is interesting. Although that's saying it'll be right at the end, we'll get a bit of rain. Actually, it could come, you know, the last third of the race and we could end up on inters. We'll, we'll have to see. That could spice things up a little bit. What have you got against practice sessions? Shut up. Shut up. We don't like practice sessions. I think 104. 104 in quality, which will be a good test. And we can always lure it for the race. Oh, bit of wheel spin there. Didn't need that. Right, come on. Let's get a solid banker in here. See what we can do. They're a little bit deep, never quite hit by Apex. Scare the rotation on the exit as well. Oh, hello. There's your bottle job you guys were looking for. Oh, disqualified. <laughs> that's it. Stupid game. Hold on, let's. There's nothing illegal with that. There you go. That's a perfect use of a flashback. You guys are getting all the uh, all the bingo cards today. Oh, AI, dude. Get in the bin. I'm going to flash back one more time and see if I can get around him, but... I mean, I can, but... Oh, three... I lost three tenths! Oh, dear me, this is not the first one I needed. Better through there. It's, it's, it's a wobbly corner anyway, and I have to be quite aggressive with my setup in order to get anything out of this Williams car. Otherwise, I'm just going to be at the back. Well, I haven't got enough tyres to do any more runs, so I may as well complete the lap. 18.5, back of the pack, not surprising. I think only seven tenths off pole, though. Is that right? Wouldn't it be a real, real shame? I mean, like a real crying, upsetting shame if someone got in the way of Lando Norris on his hot lap after he did that to me last, last, last time. That'd be, honestly, that'd be such a joke for him. So unlucky. Oh, you don't like it when someone sits on your apex, Lando? Oh, weird that. Weird. Petty Alex versus the computer. Oh, he deserved it. He deserved it. He still puts it only seven tenths off. What? How? We'll just take a new set of tyres and go again, I think. Anyone keen for a, for a better lap than that last one? Oh, I certainly am. Right, let's do it. Not bad. Oh, we carry a bit too much speed. There's a little bit wobbly on the back end on the exits here, but we're surviving it. For now. A bit more cautious there that time. A little bit early on the power. Shouldn't let it turn a bit more. Eight and a half tenths up, though. Nine tenths up. Hello, that's a bit more like it. Let's go. Puts P P twelve. Sorry, there's probably there's probably another two or three tenths in it. I'd say. Well, we'll have to push for it, but that's good. I like that. I like I like having to push. Which at the end, we'll take the fuel out. Uh, we could lower these more, but I shouldn't need to really. 
I think it's okay. I mean, my, my, my current best lap, I took the tiniest lift through there. You just got to be, as long as I'm mindful of it, it's fine. This is all that's going to count. We're P12 right now, but people will improve. AI's probably is a little bit too low, but we can't do anything about that now. We've just got to do the best lap we can. There's a bit more time in it, but it's going to need a good lap. Come on, what have we got in the tank? Took a tiny lift there to be safe. Gives me a little bit of time. Better through there. Better through there for sure. Oh, it wasn't, apparently. Felt better. Too deep. Just have to try and go and search for some time. Oh, another slide. I'm having to push so hard. This lap feels better than the last one, but it just isn't. Oh, that's wide. We knew there was about a tenth through there, and there it is. We end up beating it slightly just by improving that final turn, but that'll do. Where does it put us for P15 right now? Puts us P14. You know what? P14 is not too bad. The AI was a little bit too low. As I said, another race, it'll be a little bit too high as well. So we'll take that. We'll put the AI difficulty level up for the race. We'll only, we'll, I think we'll only uh, up it by one click, though. We'll go to 105. I think that seems, I think that seems fair. Let's do it. 33 laps of the Spanish Grand Prix. RG, RG, RG. The wheel is dead now. Let it rest. <laughs> Medium hard. Let's check where everyone else is on first. But yeah, again, almost all mediums. I just, I feel like we score points when we start on the same tyre as the AI. In theory, the better strategy probably is to start on hard and then go to mediums. But we just seem to get a bit bogged down with AI when that happens. You know, we saw that in Imola. If I could guarantee the rain was going to come two thirds into the race, I'd go hards. If the forecast, by the time we got, to, we're on about lap 14, Forecast is still saying no rain forecast, we'll go hards. If it's saying rain in 10 minutes, we'll maybe run it long and then go to softs. Now, someone in my Discord, he's done some tests since the last episode. Apparently, tire wear does apply on the formation lap. On the way down to turn one, what I'll do is I'll try and remember to flip to the tire wear screen and we'll see if tire wear does indeed apply on the formation lap or not. Oh, I went over. I haven't done that in quite a while. That starts with like a meter further back than I should be. Oh, okay, not ideal. Anyway, guys, 14th on the grid, starting further back than I'd like to. Let's try to have a good start here. Best start I've had against AI in a long time. They are OP at the starts. Oh, that was better. We did try to go for it there. Can we go for the inside into here? Whoa, hello. They always do that right at the last minute. Managed to survive, though, struggling outside this Alpine. And the other one, and the other one, get me inside. Oh, he jumped, jumps out of the way of us there. We take that, we take that up to P10. Can we get anyone else? They're still side by side ahead. They will be slow. Oh, no grip, though. Red right to these guys. Just can't get it stopped in the corners like they can. Can I stand it from here? Is this too far back? Oh, a bit of contact there. Went a little bit deep. They're so slow, but oh. Hello, I'm here. I exist. I exist. I exist. You know I exist yet. Yes, he does. Bit of a snap, trying to hold on the outside. That's way too late on the brakes. Way too late, all the way off the circuit. We have to let him go. Oh, he's so slow, though, because I can't let him go cleanly. There we go. We did eventually let him go. Could have made the overtake there, but it didn't feel very fair. Lonzo now all over us as well. Alpine is very quick in the straight, but I can't get Norris. I've got to defend from Alonso, but I'm not allowed to overtake Norris. Box him in, box him in. Oh, hello. Classic Fernando Alonso move that. That was beautiful. I can't even deny it. Aggressive stuff. He comes across because there was just enough room for his car. And through he comes and dumps us outside the points. What a race to start. Uh, that's a shame. We probably could have got Norris on that lap, but just didn't didn't manage to make it work, unfortunately. And for those that missed it, we did have tyre wear from the formation lap. We had 4% tyre wear. Oh, yellow flag. Out front? I think it might be in front, possibly. Going on. Why is it? Oh, so was McLaren. And I slowed Alonso down. I slowed Lonzo down, but I don't think by enough. I don't think by enough. No, he's still got a good run. They're so quick in a straight line, those, those Alpines. Let's just try and stick to Alonzo now to try and pray to get DRS. It's not very likely, though. Oh, hello. VSC. I think DRS gets reactivated as soon as we start on the VSC in the game. So we want to try and be right up to Alonzo to get DRS as soon as we can. I could be wrong on that. There you go. Oh, yeah, DRS straight away, look. We've, we've even got it when the detection zone was within DRS range. Amazing. Weirdly, the VSC's ended. So Ricardo's car is still there. The yellow flag is still out on the main straight. <laughs> Just shows how pointless the VSC is in this game. I think I really hope... Ah, oh, our teammate once again gets damaged on that one. That must have been the other, other yellow flag. No, no range you. No range you at the moment. Just outside a second of Alonso. Uh, anyway, I did get it. Uh, he gets it as well, though. We need him to drop out of it, otherwise we've got no chance. Pretty good through there, is it enough? I think it was just maybe enough. No. 
No, we missed out on DRS by a couple of hundreds. Karen is slow in a straight though, so I would have thought next lap Alonso will go for it on him. If they start battling, maybe we can capitalise. But right now, we just haven't got their race pace. Oh, another yellow. That's behind. One of the Alfa Romeo's had a spin. Let's hope cars head start battling today. Yes. Yes, that's it. Side by side. Beautiful. Cost each other time. And Alonso doesn't make it. That's important because I think Alonso will be quicker. I think Ricardo, sorry, Norris is a lot less likely to be able to get Alonso because the Macar Alpine, sorry, is so quick in the straight. Uh oh, hello. Ah, I didn't feel like I could defend that that late. But it's defending those. Squeeze him a little bit on the apex. Great late. Nice to keep in front of him. He might get me here, to be honest. Looks like the Alfa Romeo is closing in behind us as well. He's quick. Purposely let him go there, thinking, okay, let's sit in his DRS range, see if we can catch cars in front. That's the DRS range. Oh, that was close to a spin. We do keep DRS, but only just. That is not what we needed, just as we let someone by. That is not ideal. Alonso is probably might go clean past Norris here. Yeah, he's going clean past him. That's not what we needed. We do get DRS, but... Oh, no, he doesn't. He must have locked up there. Alonso's gone deep. He must have locked up. Ah, oh, that's annoying, though, because he's not held Ocon up at all, really. And now we're struggling to stay in DRS range. We made the mistake right at a critical time. Can't do tactics like that and then make a mistake and let them back, uh, you know, let them get away. That's not what we need. Bottle job of in chat. Very good. All right, we need a big, big final set here. They're very good through this sector. A bit of a snap there from Ocon. Should allow us to stay in DRS range. We do stay in DRS range for now. We are a bit close to him now than we were this time last lap. So that's good. Maybe the tyres are wearing faster than mine. If I can stay in a DRS range, you never know. Ocon might drop out of DRS range here on Alonso. I stay in it on Ocon. Does he get DRS? No. No, he does not. That's huge. That could help us. Tow us along. I don't think we have got the raw pace to match him in front, but we're sitting in DRS range. It's getting more and more comfortable. Let's try and recharge ERS now while we sit here. A little bit wide. Okay, now I need to use a little bit of ERS just to make sure we can stick in a second. No point to save it at ERS if it gets to that DRS range. McLaren now all over the Alpha Tauri. Oh! Right at the wrong time. We just want to keep DRS. That's why I want to recharge ERS to help with those issues. That's the snappy car that I keep talking about. Not bad, not bad. It's going to be on the limit. It's going to be right on the limit whether I can stick with him or not. Very close. I think we're going to be okay. Just, we are. We get DRS, but it's the final set where they're particularly quick. No mistakes this time. A bit more cautious that time just to make sure we didn't make a mistake and we're okay. Yeah, they are side by side. That's going to slow them down. Well, I could probably do one more lap before Ocon gets DRS, but it looks like it's not going to happen. Still side by side? No, they're still out now, I think. Again, Ocon is definitely going to DRS this lap, though, so it's important we stick close to him. Won't have any chance to stay in this fight. Bottas also hovering around behind us. Close than I have been. Close than I have been. That's what you like to see. Weather report. No, so I think we are going to go hard. That's well, not going to go into any time soon. Yeah, falling back a little bit. Concentration's dropped slightly on this lap. Yeah, we are. We're in fight, fight for seventh this lap this, this at the moment. Alonso will surely get Gasly here. Possibly even Ocon as well, you know. They're very close. Yeah, so Alonso comfortably clears him. Does he? Oh, they made a bit of a mistake there. They slow each other down. Can we capitalise? Oh, no, not really. They're right where they need to be. Can't go on the outside. Have not got a downforce for that. We don't want to be stuck behind Gasly if we can help it. It does seem slow. Love to clear him, but it's not going to be easy. Teammate in the pits again. We capitalise any drama, but unfortunately Gasly is just holding us up right now. Try and save the ERS while they're so stuck. Okay, Hope they're side by side. Lap, so Turn one, which is definitely possible. Let's be boxing this lap. Do we box this lap? Ooh, very aggressive. The contact there, they're still side by side. Can't capitalise right now. It's too far back. We are just too far back. Couldn't capitalise at all on that. That's allowed Bottas all over us though. I only just realised he's with us. Let's see what the ERS in that last lap. I think we probably box slap, don't you, and go for the undercut. Oh, Bottas. What a weird send. I think we box. It's a little bit early. Actually, that said, these tyres are all right. And they'll be cold when we come out, so it might be worth the overcut more. I'm going to stay out. They're going to stay out. I'm going to stay out. I want to try and get Gasly here, because I don't want Ocon getting away from us. Ah, oh, I've so much of the RS. Oh, he's got it a bit deep there, I think. He smashed us wheel to wheel. Ah, it's going to cost us on Ocon, I think. I think we're not going to get in DRS range anymore. It's as far as they'll go, exactly. It might be a good shout, especially as it seems to have slightly better tie wear and AI, but I'm already at DRS range. I think we've got a box to try and see if we can capitalise and get past Ocon with an undercut. 
As he's in with us, let's hope we stay ahead of him. We don't want him to, un you know, get out ahead of us with a better stop. Ah, got a bit held up. I think the hard's coming in. We stay ahead of the Alpha Tari. That's the important thing. So now from out, oh, coming down the pits. Is that? Is that? Is that? Bottas. It is Bottas. We have nice warm tyres. Oh, deep. The problem is the AI warm the tyres up much more, much more unrealistically than the player. Oh, there's no grip. There's no grip. I don't think we can undercut Ocon. Should we box his lap, which I'm pretty certain he will. 95% sure he will. I don't think with these, with these tyres, I don't think we can undercut him. I still have quite up to temperature. They're pretty much there now, though. Unless Ocon stays out of the lap, though, it's a no-go. Even a bit of room there, because he was sending it on us for some reason. Ocon on exit already, so that's GG's. Wow, so far ahead. Yeah, tyre will... Oh, we we're just going to lose a position to Schumacher. Where the hell was Schumacher in all that? He should have really cold tyres, though, so we should be able to fly past him. See, like, I shouldn't... I, I, if, that, if that was a player, I would not be struggling at all to get round his outside there with those cold tyres. The AI... Got, so this is why I always switched off car simulation. AI got really unrealistic tyre warm characteristics. Really, really unrealistic. Oh, I was about to get past us. He's got two lap fresher tyres, so we'll probably never have a tyre advantage. Tyre wear advantage over here. That's a bit deep. She might have to get away from us, you know. That is ridiculous. We should have been able to get past him on the out lap. Not quite a DRS range. Just less than a tenth off. Ryan Burns at the ERS's lap, see if we can maybe get back in DRS range for that point, that solitary point. No Still no rain forecast, so it's probably not going to come at all. If like it does, it'll be the last lap or two, which won't do anything. Still in DRS for us for now. Come on, let's try and sneak in DRS range here. We seem to be a bit quick at this lap. A little bit on the power. We have to roll with it. <laughs> a bit cheeky. Did we get it? Did we get it? It was close. I think we did. We did. We got it. We got DRS. Okay. Schumacher's pace seems to have dropped off a little bit compared to the first lap or two. Big lap lead. If we can keep getting DRS, we'll slowly edge up to him. And we can start to save ERS and attack him later on. Oh, a bit deep. Can you get it? It's going to be very close. I think we do. We do. We get it. That's the first time I've had it in this middle sector since he boxed. I'll tell you what, they're bunching up ahead. What's going on? Are they battling or someone's slow? Lost a load. Alonso did a 22-2. I did a 20.9. All is not lost right now. Especially if the cars in front keep battling like they did the last lap. Let's do another fast lap of the race. About a second and a half quicker than me. That's the deficit we need to pick up by the end of the season, which is not a small amount of time. Okay, Ocon's definitely got an issue. He's slow. He's slow. So there's another potential position on offer there. Yeah, he's definitely got some probably front wing damage. I think the McLaren's the same, you know. I think we're also closing on the McLaren just. So if we can be smart with the traffic here, I think there's a P8 on the table. Where am I going? Where am I going? Wait to my qualifying point, pretty much. What we don't want to do is let Schumacher through and us get stuck behind Ocon. I'm going to try and be all over in this final sector. Try and nail Ocon the same time Schumacher does. Not bad. Ah! Get my wing alongside. Sneak past him. We know he's got some damage. We don't want to be getting held up by him. Move done. Move done. We're still with Schumacher. Back into the points. Nice. Oh. Oh, hey, hey. What are they doing? Look, nowhere near, really. Oh. We've got even more wing damage now. Back into the points, though. I think there's definitely still some stories to be told in this race. We've got Bottas behind us now. He's probably a bit quicker than Gazi was before, so we need to be wary of him. We are catching Norris, though. Similar to last time. We want to make sure we're nice and close to Schumacher when it happens so that we can capitalize when we need to. Oh, hello, Bottas. We really went for a move. Bottas is going to be quick. We need to be very wary of Bottas. We're going on the power again. Hey, what? The Ferrari and Alonso are still each other down. Last lap, 21.4. We did 20.7. We're closing on the Ferrari and Alonso as well. Oh, sure. I think Schumacher is going to get DRS here, you know? Yeah, again, look at this. That Ferrari must have some damage. Surely Schumacher is getting DRS from there, is he? No. That's huge, because we're a bit closer than we have been. Okay, head down from now. Next lap, Schubach will get DRS on the McLaren. Don't know if we're going to have time to catch the Ferrari and Alpine, unfortunately. Brief yellow flag. Probably behind as it was so brief. Yep, yeah, it's the Alfa Tauri. Sonoda retiring. Oh, a little bit deep. Oh, bad. Okay, Schubach made a mistake there. He's not going to be able to get past him now. Cars head slow each other down massively again. Looks like Alonso's got through, so Alonso will probably run away now. 
We seven though, probably still on the cards. That Ferrari seems slow unless he gets heavily towed along by Alonso. One point right now. Where can we get to? We're not long left in this race. So this car stricken car still there. Everybody ahead got DRS, so we're in a bit of a DRS trade now, unfortunately. This is not how I wanted to play out. I wanted to play out similar to how we when we ever took Ocon. Ah! Not need that. Luckily we're in the DRS trade, so it won't make matter, but. Oh, hello, Bottas. Can you not? We don't need a battle. Make him use all my ERS. He's still alongside me. Ah, that made me use all of my ERS. Setting on me. A little bit of contact there, but we get away with that. He's still there. It's not what we need. We don't need to be batting Bottas behind. It's going to cause us to lose some time for the cards in front. That was very quick on that exit. really annoying it's, it's really annoying that's 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 too, uh, i don't know what to do it's really annoying because you, they break way later when they go for it and they just they just pretend to run into you uh we'll flash it back to keep the race interesting but i don't know what to hey what i'll stop using the rs and i'll let him go for it properly give him all the room this time if he gets past me he gets past me yeah, he backs out on the exit for some reason you see what i mean it's weird to battle they back out of it at weird times. But if they could break that late, why do they break that late? That's what I don't get. They just don't break late, but they should be. Be quick. Now we'll go ahead down, try and get past these guys before the final lap, because they'll have saved the arrest for the final lap. Oh, side by side, that's gonna slow them down. Bit of contact. See this side. If I was there, if I was there, I probably could have scored the inside of Schumacher right now, but Bottas caused us to lose just a little bit of time. Right, full set now till the end. Full push. Let's make something happen here. If something's going to happen, we've got to make it happen now because we're in a bit of a DRS train. I don't think Norris has got the, the raw speed to get past Leclerc. Because we haven't got the ERS. That's our first warning, that's okay. We need to be this close when they, when they have that little battle like they did before. That's what we need. Right. Full send, full send, full send. we we'll start on the exit, it wasn't too bad. We have Nisa Del Schumacher now, really. He is slowly, slightly falling back from the cars in front, but it is slow. They all seem slow now, though. The tie wear is kicking in. We've got to go for it now. Reasonable exit. Have we got the ERS? I don't think we have. But nothing. Oh, a bit deep. They break just late. I break super late then. Look, was barely able to make any time up. We've got to find an alternative move somewhere. That was the best I've done that in a while. I think we'll have to try and send it here. But uh, they're pulling away still in the straight. I'm too far back. Look how much later I can break. But I need to be closer than I was then. Did not need that. I can't, I'm just a tiny bit too far back to go for it into there. Now they're almost certainly going to save some ERS. Ah, oh, frustrated! I can't get through! I really hope it's for the last lap drama, I think. If we can get close enough, we'll go for it, but... Just haven't been able to. We've been pushing very hard the last couple of laps as well. Just haven't got the pace. It's just outright pace. And in the straight as well, look. I'm just too far back all the time, just by like a tenth. Look how much later I'm able to break, but possibly to the final chicane is what I only thought. I knew he was going to turn around on me, but had to be done, had to be sent. We made the move, bit messy, bit messy, but it had to be done. We couldn't sit there all race. It's only going to be P9. It could have been P7. Oh, what a frustrating race that was. It's points again, but it's not where I wanted to be. We had the chance for P7 there, but sat in that DRS train, there was nothing we could do. We just have to go lower wings. We have to go lower wings in the AI. That is non-negotiable. Two points for us. Meanwhile, the championship lead gains 26 points. He now leads everybody by 41 points, and he leads me by 117 points after just six races. We need him to have some serious bad luck towards the end of the season, and we've got no chance. We, it's going to take us easily half a season to get anywhere near being competitive with those guys. Thanks so much, Alex, for 100 stars. Appreciate that. Hey! That was a successful upgrade there that's just snuck on. That was the major weight reduction upgrade that just snuck on the car for Monaco. And we've got two more coming as well. Minor ERS and minor weight redistribution. We're going to have, hopefully, three upgrades for Monaco. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. I did say at the start, there's nowhere to hide in Spain. And that's exactly what we just saw. Nothing more I could have done there. P9. 
Even that was a bit dodgy at the end there, but we had to go for it on the last call on the last lap. We need to, first of all, lower the wing level, make sure we're always faster than the AI in the straight, just be the same speed is not enough. We cannot get stuck in a DRS straight again. And also, hopefully, bring some performance to the car. Share some upgrades for next time in Monaco. Anyway, guys, catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.